Ah, ¿cuál es la sorpresa? Te invito a todos a participar. Ay, qué bien, te organizó el seminario de marketing digital, publicidad e innovación en el Reino Unido, en el que reconocidos expositores abordaron temas sobre el desarrollo de la industria creativa y publicidad en Inglaterra, siendo este país uno de los principales referentes a nivel mundial. I think when you talk about innovation, there's a lot of questions and a lot of things to ask and I think Why are we doing it? What does innovation mean to different people? Why do we even use the term innovation? Because I think it's, uh, it's a somet sometimes overused phrase that can be used without any meaning. And I think, I think with agencies it's quite an interesting thing because they're always in the process of change, flux, and looking at new ways to communicate with new audiences. And obviously the way that they're now an audience is different. The way the landscape has changed, the way people interact with technology, the way people use technology, the way people use platforms changes, evolves the whole time. So obviously if you want to communicate with them and you want to understand them and you want to create the right stuff for them, you have to be listening all the time. But once again, I think that's quite an innovative approach for most ad agencies and a lot of agencies because normally they'll approach it from the churn cycle, which is slightly boring and also doesn't work. You know. Es un approach de approach, pero ahora puede ser mucho más táctico. Estoy hablando de transmedia, y eso es lo que hago. So, una clara proposición traduce a un claro mensaje a un potencial cliente, que es lo que estamos haciendo. Y cuando estamos advertising, estamos cambiando el comportamiento. Así que, si estamos siendo muy claros sobre lo que estamos diciendo, eso viene directamente de la proposición. Telling a clear and concise story is, is, is one of the keys, I would say, to a successful campaign. Finding 150 people of the same name and getting them together, taking people who were not photographers in the first place and making them as good as the famous David Bailey. Or, sit, or, or they, they, they were taking pretty good pictures and it was difficult to decipher between whose picture was taken by who, and prove to the public our message, which was anybody with this camera could shoot like a professional. Lima, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. Everyone's been very welcoming, and it's my first time in South America, so I'm very excited. Try to encourage people not to look at the technology, but to look at what the message is. So I think it's important not to make the technology part of the solution. So the, the technology, the, whatever you're using, shouldn't be the, the answer to the brief. It should help um, help people be more productive and help people uh, uh, be more understanding. The te technology changes so quickly, and certainly for the lifetime of some of the projects we work on. Uh, what you set out to do at the start is sometimes very different to what you can actually do at the end of it. Uh, if you look at projects which maybe span over the course of a year, a lot can change in a year, that's the, the speed that people are able to receive data, the devices they're using and the different ways that we have of communicating with each other. Uh, so you have to be very agile in your approach and you have to make sure that you're very open to change throughout the whole of the development process. And for me personally, if I, if I can help people to understand technology better and how to use it appropriately, then that's a win for me. my first time to South America, so um, Lima is my introduction. I think one of the biggest things is, and, and there's, we're in a really interesting area right now, there's a lot of ambiguity that is being caused by technology, and I think there's, there's several things with clients. I think firstly you need to look at the big picture, and when I say look at the big picture, it, it's looking at absolutely everything that's involved in that, and, and when you're looking at the big picture, you can't underestimate empathy. Then you've got the empathy with the brand, what the brand's trying to do, where that's going, where it's been and where it wants to go and then of course most importantly you have the empathy with the, with the audience. So if you can kind of get that right that all builds trust which is great 
And then, you know, when it comes to the technology, you need to understand the technology that you're talking about because you need to have such belief and vindication in what you're suggesting and what you're recommending because clients get a little bit wobbly. They might say, yep, that's great. Oh, I'm not so sure. But you've just got to keep going, come on, come on. And that trust is so absolutely vital. And they've got their confidence, they'll go with you. And then once you are there, measure, 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 because you can always come back and optimise, you can prove your point, and then the next time you go, do you know what, we should do this, they go, I've got the results to prove it, let's give it a go.